So I'm out here in the shadow of the IRS national debt clock, right there, on 45th Street in Manhattan, and Keith is leading the protest. As a matter of fact, Keith is the protest. Yes, I am. Let's look up and down 45th Street. There's the IRS building. And uh, really, that's about all there is. That's a damn shame. Now, Keith, are you a part of a, a, a group like 912ers or Tea Party group? Um, well, I'm following the Tea Party. Uh, I guess I'm a de facto member because of that. Uh, I've made it to a few protests that they've held here in New York, um, but I definitely would be uh, interested in being more of an active member in, in uh, probably the Tea Party movement. Now, why don't you think there are more people out here today? Well, I don't know if the message was uh, broadcast wide enough. Um, this is Manhattan. Everybody seems to have something else to do. I happen to be lucky enough to uh, have some time today to come out here, I guess. I'm really not sure why I'm the only one. I mean, there should be outrage over what they've been doing. Has anyone from the IRS spoken with you? No, no. I've had a few smiles. I've had a few uh, looks of uh, irony, but um, nobody but the security guard. The security guard told me where I was uh, okay to be standing. And what did they tell you? Well, they told me as long as I wasn't uh, blocking the front door or stopping anyone from going in or out, I was free to express myself as much as I wanted. Well, at least freedom of speech is still alive. Well, in theory. <laughs> All right. Carry on, soldier. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day.